Ready? Camera screws. What's up, Joners? Beat. <laughs> Camera. You good? Uh, all right, yeah, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I started I, doing I appreciate it. You were like down there. I appreciate it. He appreciate said camera it. speeds. That means go. All right, all right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's Thank do you. it. Thank you. What's up, Jonah? It's me here with Drone Tech, and as you can see, I got Doc Nightflyer, aka Drone Master, FPV man, next to me. And what we're going to talk about today is how to get started with a new FPV drone from DJI. It's, uh, it's going to be an interesting topic, that's for sure. Let's get into it. So, as you guys know, my FPV expert, Nightfly right here, is the man when it comes to FPV on the traditional sense, because now there's a new standard. And so what we would thought we'd talk about today is how to get this thing into the air and the things that he's learned from doing that. So what you got, brother? How do we do this? Man, it's all so familiar, yet so different. Of course, uh, last time we were sitting here talking about this, you were talking about DJI, I want this made easy, and da da da, and they listened, man. It's like they were taking notes or something, but you know, they're always pushing technology in different ways. I don't know really where to start, but I guess let's just figure out what would happen right after you open the box up. You're gonna make sure to charge your batteries, of course. They did the smart battery thing. Yo, they did the smart battery. <laughs> like there's a button with the little lights, just like every other DJI one. This is exactly what I asked for. This is exactly what I wanted. Please look at the last videos with this, this guy in it. This is specifically what I asked <laughs> it, for and it, got it, mad about that it, we it don't did. have for FPV. And bam, DJI did it. Thank you, DJI. Hey, and I was kind of hesitant to even think about it like that. But after using it and seeing the flight time it provides, how easy it is. 20 minutes of flight time. And, uh, and of course, that's how fast you're going. But yes, projected right at 20 uh, if you're just hanging out and chilling. But I'm sure if we uh, we push it and do some races, it's probably get a little bit less time than that. But it's uh, longer than four minutes. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, man, it, it's doing a great job. It charges so fast. It's so it's like part of the drone too. Like it's part of the body. It's wild. All right, so let me let me ask a question. I get my new drone today. I take it out of the box. Here's the things that I have. What do I do first? I want to get this in the air as soon as I can. What's the first step? What do you got to do? Like I said, first thing, you want to make sure everything's charged up so you don't have to hear any beeping and you get to enjoy your flight. Okay. Second thing you're going to want to do is make sure they're all bound up and linked together, newest firmware, so on and so forth. How do you bound them? So bind them. I said binding that. is fairly simple. All you have to do is once you get it turned on. So you turn it on just like any other DJI drone or controller. Everything press, does tap. the same thing. Press it once, hold it down for three seconds. That's what turns it on. Do, uh, do the same thing to turn it off. And uh, you'll see all the, the lights corresponding to that. And that is the on button for the drone once you apply it there too. Okay. Uh, another big thing that held me back was the goggle battery. You have to do the same thing. Press, hold for three seconds, turn on the goggles. I know, battery. it's so simple, but coming from FPV where you just plug it right in with the XT60 right to the goggles, I sat there and uh, struggled for about five minutes trying to... I it's okay, brother. Going on. Welcome yeah. to the future. Uh, I'm, I'm joining the DJI <laughs> fam. I understand that. Everything powered on. Okay, so I'll power this on. By the way, this is my favorite moment of all right here. Just watch this, watch this. Listen. Okay, I'm sorry. That is the sounds coolest sound mean, ever. Man. Right. Sounds pretty mean. Cool. All right, the so LEDs in the back too. Show them that, man. That's oh a, yeah. Woo. They go hard. Mm, mm. All right, so I want to bind this drone to that controller. How do I do that? Oh, you just hold the button. You're gonna hold it down. Okay. You're gonna hold the button down. Did you hear that noise? I do the same thing. Do the same thing there. Are you kidding me? Done. That's how you bind it? Simple. That is so easy. I'm sorry, like even for a DJI drone, that's easy. That's one of the, those little things in FPV that's so simple, but it's tedious at some points in some builds because you got to get to your receiver, you got to hold it a certain way, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they just made it as simple as they possibly could. And yeah. Okay, so now they're bound. Uh, but now I want to get, I want to see what's inside of there. How do I get this to bind to, to these things too? So this one's a little bit more complicated where there's a button in here, which I don't have a tool to really reach it, but it's right below the power button. A little bitty red circle you can see, take a little paper clip or something, it'll do the same noise and it'll let you know that it's bound up once uh, it stops beeping like that. You know, because once I got it into bind mode with this, it just 
loudly and annoyingly blaring its noise, and once it's stopped, you know that it's bound up. Okay, so I'd like to just point out one thing, is that when you're powering the headset, uh, this is a little bit different than what you're used to if you haven't flown FPV before. Because typically what you do in FPV is you take the battery that you're powering the headset with, you put it in your pocket, and then you just have it plugged into here. Now that's new to you if you only fly regular camera drones. And the thing that Doc was saying earlier that's a big deal is that you actually have to turn the battery on the same way you turn on the controller, the same way you turn on the drone, and then you also have to plug it in to the back side of here. And like he was just saying, un underneath this, there's a little red spot right there that is like a little pinhole that if you ever try to reset like game systems and like stuff like that, same thing. So you hold that down and that pretty much is gonna make a sound and link it right to And be good to go. Uh, My question is, do you have to hold this button down? Like you were just saying, you have to hold that button down, it beeps and then you link this the same way? Solid hold, solid single hold until yep. it starts beeping. So do you do that with the controller or do that do that with the drone? You do that with both of those. All right, so what you're saying is to be able to connect the headset to this system is what you need to do is press and hold the button on the back of the drone to make it beep. And then after it beeps, then you just press this little button, the little little button right here that's right underneath your power button. It'll and it's going to beep thing. again. It's going to connect just like we saw the controller connect to this. But we already have this connected, so we're not going to... And it actually anything. came connected. The goggles and the drone were already bound, so I never even had to bind it. Uh, I love but that. the first thing you want to do once you get everything powered, you know it's all bound. You want to use this cable it comes with, hook this side into the goggles, and then use whatever connects to your Android or iOS device to get the app and DJI to, Fly. Yeah, I believe, yeah, DJI Fly. And basically, once this is talking to your phone or whatever is holding the app, it updates, updates everything. everything else from here. Oh, that's really important. So one thing you should always know, whenever you get a new drone, you always want to update this, uh, the firmware from it immediately. Because typically, the firmware that gets put into the box when they ship it to you is the current firmware of that moment, or whenever it was manufactured or last touched. And so between that time and when you actually buy it and take it home, the firmware has probably been updated, and as soon as you turn it on, it might not work correctly or work at all until you actually update the firmware. So what he's, what he's saying is really like, this, this is a super important USB-C to USB, a uh, USB female, port that allows you to connect this directly to an iPhone, Android device, whatever it is, and your DJI, Go, DJI Fly app, you connect it in there, literally it'll tell you all the prompts of what to do because it's a DJI app, they do a really good job of that. It's probably going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to update all the things, that's normally how long it takes. Yeah, it was just super simple, it wouldn't even, there's no way to complicate it really when it comes down. It was just, just follow what's right there on the screen once you get it touched and all uh, talking to each other correctly. The one thing I will say about that is I have a USB-C connection on my phone, mm. and so I was using this straight on the to other you. side, yeah. and it wasn't working that way. So, oh, so you gotta use this. needed to be on the goggle side for it to work with my Android So make device. sure you guys use the goggle when you do it to update the drone. Okay. So now everything's bound together. Yep. We wanna get in the air. I know how to do this, right? Because it's like every other DJI drone, right? Pretty much, man. Oh, cool. I mean, you picked it up, and how did you feel? Yeah, with it? down, down and in, right? Down and in. Started it right up. Down and Ready in. Ready to go. Starts it up. You put on your goggles. Put this in a safe space. Make sure you're in a space, safe space, because obviously you're not going to be able to see around you. Make sure you have a visual observer, because you got to keep your eye on the drone. So someone has to do it for you if you're the pilot command. However, that's going to work. To keep it legal. But then after that, <laughs> you just it's game on. Down and in, <laughs> and it starts the motors. And then you just take off by pressing up on this, and it should just go in the air. And it should be in um, P mode is what I call it, but it's not actually P mode on this, is it? I think it? they call it normal mode, and then there's sport mode. So and there's like a little thing right here, but normal mode, sport mode. What's the M mode? That's manual. and Acro. That was actually the next thing I was going to bring up. Uh, you can go into full acro. Of course, the remote has it where the throttle goes back to center, mm -hmm. so you can actually open up this little flap and loosen the thing or two to make the throttle stay where you just, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll be so really nice. You, so you have to have that. Well, you don't have to, but it's highly suggested to have that when you're flying full manual mode. It's I a different agree. story. Yep. It's uh, really hard to fly with it, with it popping back to center like that. But before, like if this first flight, unless we go through settings, you're not going to be able to go into that mode at mm. all. It's just, it won't let you. All it does is normal and sport mode. Uh, you'll need to go in and look in the settings and the goggles, and you actually need to change the button configuration to open up that full manual mode. And that's where it gives you a few pictures. It shows you how to adjust the radio to and do we'll, that. We'll do a whole video just for that. But this, this right here, this is just getting you in the air. Yep. So far, yep. you're in the air. You should always take off in end mode. 
because that's normal mode. If you want to have fun after you're in the air, you can flip it to the middle to sport mode, go really fast. Um, and to land it, it's, it's just as simple as taking it off. Uh, actually, it's even more simple. It's literally wherever you want to land, just hold down on the stick and it will automatically. Throttle. Right that's what I said. Haha. -ha. On the throttle. <laughs> See, I did that because he here got it on purpose. Got it. Press right. down on the throttle. Just hold it down for three seconds after it sends to the ground. It'll do automatic landing. It'll land itself right back wherever you want. One other note to, one other thing to note is when you're in the goggles, you can actually tilt your camera up and down right here with this. Um, and you can record video here. Um, just as you would know. Well, this will, this is the scroll wheel to go up and down by degree. Mm -hmm. And it also has this oh, yeah, you right here, where in the middle, it's just gonna be going straight, I guess stay in horizon with the normal and sport mode. But you can press it down to look directly down, press it up to look, it's not directly up, but look up. Something we're not used to at all with FPV, but it's not like uh, the i2 where the HD camera and the FPV camera are two different things. So if you move the camera, that's what you're going to be recording. So yeah, that's everything you guys need. Um, you cool. take when you're landing, definitely put it back in like normal mode or whatever. With the weird shape that it is and how it's like landing with part of its body and two of the arms, it's a little bit different from anyone in FPV is used to. And you know, you think you're just hey, yeah, I can fly in acro, I can land it in acro. It's very strange in comparison to what I'm used to, and I would assume. It's gonna be the way anyone do like, not land it in acro is the point. Oh man, I think that should get you in the air and feeling pretty confident. Uh, the little side note, I guess, is these goggles do have the same type of foam. So for most uh, Western faces, you're gonna have a little bit of light leak on the side. Uh, there are plenty of different products to fix that. So just make sure I mean, when you're getting these first food flights in to not have. Your, the sun facing in like behind you because that will get in and you know not not be the best flying experience. But once you get those set up on your face and you're feeling nice and comfortable, it's going to be just like the V1 goggles because it is the same mold. It's just a lot of upgrades as far as the goggles go. That's a whole video in itself, just the goggles. To be honest, and we'll get to that. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out the first flight with the DJI FPV drone. Absolute fire. Thank you, Doc, aka Night Flyer, for showing up to show us how to do this. Because obviously, this, this man's teaching me everything about FPV. So that means you guys get to learn as well. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, so we can be in these comment sections talking to you. If you have any questions, this brother's going to answer them for you. And as always, make sure you stay fly.